How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb, man, here. And it's time for another NHL 16 shootout commentary. And this time, I'm going to use the Chicago Blackhawks, but not because of their performance, because of what Patrick Kane has been doing. My God, Patrick Kane has recorded at least a point in now 21 consecutive games. And for anyone who doesn't know the significance of this, no other American-born player has ever, ever, at all time, achieved this feat. So that in itself is a, a great benchmark, a, a landmark for Patrick Kane. He should be very... Um, proud of himself and he can keep that streak up right but uh it's still a ways off before he comes even close to the longest nhl streak of all time and the longest nhl point streak was set by wayne gretzky in the 1983-1984 season he recorded a point in 51 consecutive games and had 153 points that year so he's still got a ways to go but now you can start saying like patrick kane best american born player of all time best american born forward of all time I mean, you can definitely make that argument now. And I, I know he's still young. He's only 27, but he's got a Calder, a Conn Smythe, two Stanley Cups, most consecutive points now by an American of all time, a golden goal to win a Stanley Cup. And like I said, he's only 27 years of age. So uh, we'll focus on the shootout a little bit, man. But Patrick Kane, my hat's off to you. Oh, oh I couldn't pull it off. What a, what a career this guy's had. And again, only 27 years of age. And I'm just so glad that everything in the offseason has kind of, you know, passed by now. I mean, Patrick Kane was basically, <laughs> the beginning of the season, he was playing for his freedom. Oh, there's no way I can play, uh, perform bad. Everyone will think I'm guilty. Get off, for God's sakes! So, uh, it's good to know that uh, a monumental talent such as Patrick Kane didn't miss any games played because of a... Uh, Oh, I don't. I won't even comment on that. But I'm just glad that he's back in the NHL, and uh, we get to watch this absolute legend just continuously, you know, just perform and and produce as well. So consistent is this guy, and here he is. Can I start calling him the best American of all time right here? Here we go. Here we go. I'll do the Patrick Kane. Oh, uh, I don't know if I can do it in this game. Here we go. Stop up inside, outside, inside. <laughs> no, I tried way too much right there. He dove to the left. I could have just gone to the back end. I'm sorry, Patrick Kane. It's a shootout, though. Points aren't, uh, points don't count if you put one in the shootout. He doesn't need it to get his point streak. It's all good. All right, let's, let's win this one. Come on now, Cooley. What do you got for me? Cooley coming in. Cooley. Toe drag! I'm going to stack those pads. No chance. That's the opposite of a Nikolai Cooley move. I, re I remember uh, when he was on the Leafs, every damn penalty shot. He'd come in off the right side, fake like kind of a backhander, just put it to his forehand, shoot low blocker. He did this. He'd come up like this. All right, simply go like this, then boom, boom, boom. And just shoot it like, hey, it worked! No wonder Nikolai Kuhlman did it. Just a little change in direction. And that's one thing I never had growing up as a right-handed shot. You know, people are always telling me the weakest part of the goalie is low blocker. I, I have never fucking shoot low blocker, man. I got to cross the goalie. That's why I loved watching Phil Kessel, because as a righty, somehow he finds a wrister low blocker. It's because he's got such a great release. But you lefties and your low blocker shots, man. I guess it is dirty. Dirty birdie! There you go. Speaking of dirty. Did he hit the post or did I save it? John Tavares comes in. Oh my god. Wide open net. How does John Tavares miss that? A marquee Canadian such as Johnny T? He doesn't miss in the wide open net. And how about this guy, Panera? Just give him the Calder already. He's going to play the entire year alongside of Patrick Kane. He's, he's, got it, he's got it locked up. Here we go. Here we go. Oh baby. Oh baby. There we go. This guy hasn't been very aggressive. He's always done a dive or a uh, a dirty bird. I think I can just stay back, wait for him to go down, and just rifle it home. Nice job, Panarin. All right, Crawford. Let's end this. Here we go. Inside. Outside. Stack the pads, baby. There you go. Oh, yeah. I've learned. The shootout for NHL 16. No longer the flying poke check. No longer just following a player. Pick a side. Try to read where he's going and then just dive to that side. Tyvo Teravine and ah, uh, you know what? I know what to do. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Do do do. Boo! <laughs> what did I say? All I gotta do is come in, wait for him to <laughs> wait for him to go down, get himself out of the play. He literally dove away for it. I didn't even start winding up for the slapper until he was on the ground. <laughs> Boom! Uh, imagine I missed the net right there. Good job, Tyvo Teravine and. They're already forgetting about Brendan Saad over there in Chicago. Oh, and Chicago, man, it's going to be a tough year because that damn central division, right? But I'm not here to talk about the Chicago Blackhawks. I'm here to talk about Patrick Kane. So you've heard his resume that I've, uh, 
uh, read out to you guys already. And you know, I was talking about um, his individual awards. Like, again, I'll just go over it. The Calder, the Conn Smythe, two Stanley Cups, which is not individual, but still, two Stanley Cups, most consecutive points by an American now, a golden goal to win a Stanley Cup, and he's still only 27. And also, you know, he's leading the league this year in points with 41, and he's second for most goals with, with uh, 16, 16 or 15, one of those. If he keeps this up, you might be adding Art Ross, Maurice Richard, and or um, the heart to his legacy, right? So, uh, Jesus, this guy's resume is still getting better. And also, remember last year when he went down with the injury towards the end of the season... Uh, had he stayed, he may have already won those trophies last year. I know Jamie Benn took it last second, right? Had uh, Patrick Kane had an 82-game season last year, maybe he already might have the uh, Maurice Richard or the Hart, right? So this guy is a true talent, a future legend. He's already a Hall of Famer. Fuck, just put him in there. Why not, right? And uh, I want to put this question to you guys. Where does he rank all-time in American-born players? Only, I went down the list, only three Americans ever to play in the NHL with like a certain amount of games played. I'm not talking about rookies, but only three Americans have a higher point per games played than Patrick Kane. Pat LaFontaine, Joe Mullen, and Brett Hull. All right, that's it. And we're talking about a list that includes greats such as Mike Medano, Jeremy Roenick, Keith Kachuk, uh, Doug Waite, Tony Amante, Bill Guerin. He's already... Way above these guys, not way above, but he's already above these guys in point per games played. Now, that may come down as he gets older, right? But I don't know, man. I really think you can start saying things like Patrick Kane, best American-born player of all time. He's still got another, what, like uh, seven years to do it to catch up to games played like these greats. But my God, man, this guy, unbelievable talent. So I want to know the uh, the uh, two questions. Where does he rank up all time for American-born players and his streak right now at 21 games? Where do you think that concludes, if it doesn't conclude at all? Like I said, Wayne Gretzky, he's got the 51 consecutive games. Patrick Kane has got to go into the 30, so he's not even halfway there yet. Um, I don't want to predict because I don't want to jinx, but what do you guys think? All right, let me know, and I will see you guys in the next one.